Welcome to the channel, my name is Rob, and in today's video, we're gonna look at one of my favorite improv shows, thank God you're here, and Hamish Blake, a regular, may be in trouble with the police. If you enjoy, hit that like button and subscribe. Time to welcome to the stage one of our most regular performers. He's currently attending, thank God you hear, anonymous meetings <laughs> to cope with his addiction, but tonight he's fallen off the wagon and we're glad. Co-host of the Hamish and Andy Drive Time Juggernaut, Hamish Blake. Let's hear it for him. <laughs> oh, oh. oh, yeah. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, I can yeah. see that. You, uh, when you attended school, were you a, a uniform man or a... But I had to wear one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But it always, it, it usually did look like this because I wanted to show off my legs. You can't. <laughs> Fantastic. You look good. good. You haven't had a peek in there. No. You? No. Hit, hitman? Mafia's youngest hitman? <laughs> could be. Or trombone. It could be that, uh, that obvious. Now, before you go through that door, I've got to tell you, you are not going through alone. OK. Uh, Constable. I thought you were joining. Yeah. Like you yeah. Oh, no. There he is. Oh. <laughs> Uh, Constable, Constable Reeves. Hamish Blake, good luck. Oh, thank God G'day. you're here. Yeah. Hey! Crazy day. Crazy day, guys. Crazy day. Cra Who wants to go to bed? We don't do enough of that anymore. Who's... There's someone at the door. Oh, yeah, there. that's him. Oh, yeah. my God. <laughs> Michael, why is there a policeman with you? I don't know. You know, he followed me home. Michael, keep what's him? the oh. real reason there's a policeman with you? I've decided to hire protection. <laughs> <laughs> Hamish is so quick at this. No wonder why they had him on this show so often, because he is so quick. You know, even the fact that he wouldn't let him through the door, just the genius. I think, um, I think a few of the other kids in the orchestra are getting a little bit jealous of, you know, who. And um, so he's just basically witness protection. I think we should go to bed. Who's tired? <laughs> Michael, yeah. did something happen at band practice? <laughs> we spotted your son driving on Chesterfield Road. Driving? He yeah. doesn't have a license. Golf clubs. We were just having, you know, Dan, I want to be like I want to be like you. He was spotted driving a car very erratically doing wheelies, burnouts, donuts and at one point he even mounted the footpath. <laughs> Why would you do that? Well, because you get bored on the regular ride and then you <laughs> see what How I can do. How do you do a wheelie in a car? Right yes. now, Michael. Okay, you can probably go, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Where in God's name did you learn to do wheelies and burnouts? Not your car. Um, <laughs> your car, Mum. <laughs> After a short chase, we managed to apprehend him and all of his passengers. Passengers? Michael, who else was in the car? It's granddad, I mean, it, I'm still... I'll, I'll look after him because, you know, that's my job every we day. We counted 17 individuals. <laughs> what were 17 people doing in a car? OK, well, he's focusing on the negatives. <laughs> on the plus side... How do you get 17 people in a car? looking at the regional champion of, of, of fitting mates into a car. <laughs> Why don't you tell your parents what we found in the boot of the car? Uh, Dave, Steve, <laughs> Macca... None. Several spray cans and a balaclava. Uh, well, because you know, I've had that cold. Um, <laughs> that was sp like ventolins. The balaclava, just because like, my head gets freezing sometimes. Michael, uh, look, officer, I I'm sure there's a perfectly reasonable explanation for why Michael's behaving this way. Yes, Michael. Yeah. I was drunk, and we <laughs> all do silly things. <laughs> when, and I think, we, I think we can all look back on this in an hour from now and have a big laugh. <laughs> Some, how long have you been drinking for? Oh, I, not forever. Obviously, my first few years were milk, and thank you. Um, <laughs> I'm talking about alcohol. How long have you been <laughs> drinking alcohol? Right. I don't know how... I can't give you a sort of a day figure, but... We, hero. I mean, I've, I've heard you and your mates talk. We also detected a strong smell of smoke from the car. What God. sort of smoke? You'll be pleased to know that, rather than use the heating, we had our own sort of fires going around the car. <laughs> Look, officer, this is very uncharacteristic behaviour for our son. Michael is a model student. He's a member of the school band. That's right. Yes. Uh, uh, do you know what I like about this one um, is that 
and I compared to, for example, the Adam Hills one when he did it, um, what I like is that Hamish is given all these quick responses and quite often the the other actors are actually responding to it. So when he talked about being drunk, the dad in the scene was saying, how long have you been drinking for and all that? So he's actually responding to what Hamish has said. And that's what makes it good because almost the actors have to improv slightly as well. They've obviously got what they need to say, but if they can sort of back and forth with Hamish, even better. Yes. Why don't you show your parents what's in that case? Uh, it's not a trombone. Just a trombone. I would have thought. I, um, uh, rather than bore you with it, yeah, that's, it is a trombone. <laughs> OK. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'll tell you what it's about. It's about time you got some new jewellery, Mum, because <laughs> that stuff's ridiculous. He's so good. <laughs> oh, that was gold, <laughs> mate. <laughs> about, time, <laughs> about time you got some new jewellery. Come here, that was just 10 out of 10. Good morning, Tom. Absolutely, Shane. 10 out of... Hames, you were born to this show, and... Uh, that would have to be the finest entrance I think we've had in <laughs> any series we've done. You are just so inventive, using graffiti spray cans for asthma medication. <laughs> Who I don't recommend it. it. Don't recommend it, absolutely. Look, um, I, I guess, yeah, just feeling nervous in a school uniform took me back. Um, <laughs> but I'm, I'm glad that uh, my voice is broken now. <laughs> I think we're all glad and we're glad you're back. Well done, Hamish. Oh, thanks so much. Fantastic. He, he never ceases to amaze. And I actually haven't watched really any of his stuff recent, where it, whatever productions he's done now. Um, I'm pretty sure, doesn't he do I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here, the Australian version, I, I think. Um, but I haven't seen him a lot of him. But in these, these Thank God You're Here, he is fantastic. And, and that's exactly what you need for these improv shows. You need that quick-witted. You need, you know, as I said stopping the other guy coming through the door in the first place and having that back and forth. And he's fantastic. <sighs> very, very funny. I hope you enjoyed this as well. Hopefully you got a little laugh from it. Make sure you like, subscribe, follow along for more, and I will catch you next time.